nuclear power, nuclear fission revision. Revision. Right, so basically, nuclear fission is the splitting up of uranium atoms. And here's a diagram that shows it. So first you'll have this free neutron and it will crash into a stable uranium nucleus, making it unstable. And then after this, the unstable nu uranium nucleus will split off into two nucleus and more neutrons. And this will produce a lot of energy. The new nuclei could be like barium and krypton and other stuff like that. So yeah, but because it produces more neutrons, it will keep going on and on, making it a chain reaction. There's the uranium nucleus, the dual creation, lots of energy. So, looking into power stations, they are powered by nuclear reactors. So, the first thing on your left is like a nuclear reactor, and in here, there's a controlled chain reaction which takes place in which they split up uranium or plutonium atoms, and this releases energy in the form of heat. And this is nuclear fission and as you see this goes into the turbine making kinetic energy into the generator making electrical energy so to look more in depth first you have uranium 235 and that's a stable nucleus with the atomic mass 235 and it's hit with a slow moving neutron to make it unstable it becomes uranium 236 and once it becomes uranium 236, it will then split into two smaller nuclei, releasing loads of energy and producing radioactive waste and two or three fast moving neutrons, which will go on to produce a chain reaction. Now, to get a useful amount of energy, lots of uranium 235 atoms have to be split. And as you can see, this chain reaction will go on and on and on. And on and on and on and on. Nuclear bombs are chain reactions that are out of control, but in nuclear reactors, the chain reaction is controlled using control rods. So, this is a nuclear reactor, it's a pretty rubbish drawing, but you get the point. And so, inside it will be where the nuclear fission is happening, and those are the rods. And so, it all starts off with three neutrons starting the fission process and the neutrons collide with surrounding uranium atoms causing them to split and the temperature and the reactor to rise. Now the control rods, often made of boron, limit the rate of fission by absorbing excess neutrons as you can see in black. This stops the reaction going out of control but allows enough neutrons to hang around to keep the process going. And that is nuclear power.